Hey Scott, Jeremy here with the video I promised you, showing you how you can beat out your competition on Google. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can do yourself to improve your rankings and show you how we do it as well. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is content. Content is king. Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page of a site and about 500 to 750 on each back service page. There's two main reasons for this. One is the more you're talking about your relevant topic, the more authority Google gives you and the more ranking you, they give you as a result. The other reason is the more content you have, the more keywords you can put in it, and the more keywords you can get found for on Google. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your content. Well, usually one of the first things I look for is uh, your click to call number, uh, your phone number, but I don't see it on your uh, right here in front of me just yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and talk about your content for now. And right now I see a lot of pictures, but no actual content, okay? And there's a little bit right there. And again, more pictures and videos, but not no content. You got a lot of pictures and videos, there's no content. And your phone number right here is not click to call, okay? So next thing we're going to talk about, though, is we're going to talk about your backlinks. So right now you have 137 backlinks, which is somebody linking back to your site uh, from 74 referring domains. Okay, you've got about 6,000 organic keywords that you're showing up for on Google throughout your site, which is actually pretty good. And which makes me think that a lot of those are coming from back pages, which is actually not uncommon for, for e-commerce type uh, industries like yours. Okay, so and you're getting one and a half thousand organic traffic, which is actually pretty good. Uh, my job is to improve that though, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at your, so out of these referring domains, you've got 38 of them are do follow. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at those just to kind of give you a good idea on what they are. So one, two, three local, that's not a bad one. Uh, it does get some traffic. Um, they're giving you a lot of do follow links though. Um, let's see here. These all have low domain ratings, so I wouldn't, and and these blog spot ones okay so i see a lot of these blog spot ones all over your page here okay so these are actually hurting you because you have so many of them oh google's not stupid okay what a lot of people have done in the past is they take free website builders like blogspot and they create a whole bunch of different websites and then they link back to their site thinking that that's going to work for backlinking well, Google knows that people are trying to cheat the system by doing that. You have to have actual relevant backlinks. Um, and when they see you cheating the system, not saying that you're necessarily doing this, but when it looks like you're cheating the system like this, then they can actually ding you for that and, and hurt your ranking because of it. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about your competitors. So I did a Google search for Furniture Stores Indianapolis, which actually gets about one and a half thousand searches every month just for this keyword. OK, so first thing you see usually is ads. In this case, we're not seeing any ads, which is odd, actually, with that kind of volume. Um, then you see the Google Map Pack, which we'll talk about here a little bit later. Um, and then you see the organic listings. So the top organic listing, and they're even beating out Yelp, is uh, Kittles.com. So let's go ahead and take a take a look at them and, and see what they're doing. Okay, so first thing when we pull them up, um, they've got a pop up up, but they're they're a no, very well known store. Okay, so them having a pop up, um, it's actually good for them because they've got they've got branding brand recognition. Okay, if you don't have good brand recognition yet, a pop up can actually run your customers away. So there's kind of like a fine line on when you should start doing pop ups or not. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at their site. Uh, it's nice and wide. I, I, I do like that. Um, but I'm not seeing any content. There's some content right there, a little bit on the home page. Um, but in this industry, you're not going to see a lot of content on the on the home page because it's more of a, a store site. Um, because you're gonna have you're gonna be able to go to the store sections and, and go look at the things that they have. Okay. Um I don't see they've got contact us here, but they don't have their phone number just like right there. Um, but they do have book an appointment. Um, so really, it's not their content or their web design that's that's making them uh, uh, beat you out. So let's go ahead and take a look at their backlink record. See this right here. See all these big numbers right here. This is why they're beating you. Okay. 
Um, right now, they've got three three thousand backlinks coming from five hundred twenty seven domains, and they're they're getting ranked uh, for almost fifteen thousand different keywords. Okay, it doesn't mean they're ranking number one or even on first page. It just means that's how many Google is finding them for. Okay, and that's throughout their whole site. Okay, and they're getting eighteen thousand traffic every single month. Um, and now this is for the whole site of kiddos.com, which I think is a nationwide company. Okay, so um, and they've got a URL rating of 37 and a and domain rating of 29, which is actually pretty low for a nationwide company. So one of the things we like to do is we like to actually go into these backlinks. Um, and instead of going into the backlinks, it's actually easier to go into the referring domains because we can actually see which domains they are. And what we do is we export this entire list. Um, and we find out which ones are the good ones, like this one right here that's giving them 103 backlinks. That's only got a domain rating of six, and it's getting only 80 traffic. That's not really a good one. Um, this one's only got a domain rating of zero. However, this one right here with a domain rating of 54 with 875 traffic, giving them 43 links. Yeah, we definitely want to go after that one. Okay. Um, so that's basically what we do. It's, it's like a copy and paste. This is a big popularity contest. You know, like when you're in school, if the most popular kid talked positively about you to the other kids, you became popular as a result. Well, it's the same thing here. Okay. Um, so the last thing we're going to talk about, though, is we're going to talk about this map pack. There's a, this actually has a ranking factor to it. And there's actually a number of things that go into this ranking. Um, one is the star rating, um, the number of reviews you have. Um, but beyond that, um, you have to have your profile filled out completely too. Uh, make sure that you have your, your name in the business name in there, the, the address, the phone number, uh, make sure you have plenty of pictures, um, in each section for the pictures, um, and make sure your pictures are labeled correctly as well. Um, speaking of labeling pictures, um, I'm actually going to uh, pull up something. I, I don't know if your competitor is doing it or not. Um, it might be hard to do it because they've got all their pictures and links. So it might be hard to see this right now. Let me see if I can't find a picture that's not in a link. Let's see if it will. Okay, here we go. Save link as. So current promotions.inc. Is anybody looking for current promotions? Probably not. Um, so let's try another one real quick. Uh, save. Would be safe link as um, I don't think that's working brands.inc yeah so um, nobody's looking for those words and Google reads those words okay so um, so back to the back to the map pack you want to do the same thing with the pictures in your map pack make sure you're naming your pictures with keywords that you want to be found for okay because Google reads that um, and then the last but probably the most important thing is to make sure that you're you're signing up for citations now, citations are basically directory listings like Yellow Pages, Super Pages. Those are some of the big ones, um, you know, yp.com. Um, signing up for those, and it's basically just name, address, phone number. It's not necessarily a link, at least not a do-follow link. You know, you get better quality of those. Same with backlinks. The more quality you have, the better off you'll be. Um, higher quality um, and plenty of them, and you, you'll, you'll be ranking in this map pack in no time. Okay? That's pretty much it for this overview. If you apply these steps correctly, uh, you'll be ranking in no time, getting more customers in your door and more money in your pocket. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me.